Welcome to the third installment of my Google Travel Tips series. In this video, I'll show you how to find cheap flights with Google Flights, how to track flights with Google Flights, plus I'll show you how to get a completely customized, personalized itinerary from Google Travel. Hey friends, I'm Tasia, and welcome back to my YouTube channel where I share tech tips, app reviews, and a ton of Google tips. So for today's video, I'm gonna show you how to find cheap flights with Google Flights and how to track those flights. And we're also gonna cover which airlines are included in a Google Flights search. It's super important to know. Plus, I'm gonna show you just how easy it is to get a customized travel itinerary from Google. Are you ready? Then let's go. So first things first, let's go over how to find cheap flights with Google Flights. All you have to do is head to flights.google.com in order to access Google Flights. From here, you'll have a few options. First, you can decide whether or not you're taking a round trip or a one-way trip. You can let Google know how many seats you're going to need, and you can even select your travel class from here too if you want to. There's economy, premium, business, and first. Once you've made your selections, it's time for you to input your departure and arrival cities, which by the way, you can search by city or airport code. So when it's time to add your travel dates, here's where things get interesting. If you click on a date, a drop-down calendar will appear for you. You're going to notice some prices in a gray color, but you'll also notice some prices in green. So in a nutshell, this is how to find cheap flights with Google Flights, because if you have flexibility in your dates, you can simply use the arrow to toggle through the months to get a quick snapshot of what days happen to have the cheapest flights. So we'll select some dates here as an example example, and then we'll click done to bring up all the flight options. So here's another really cool feature. Google Flights will automatically warn you about any travel restrictions or other important details about the location you're going to. Here's what I mean. Our example search here is traveling from Phoenix to Vancouver, BC. Because of COVID, Canada has pretty strict travel protocols right now. So here is Google Flights telling us right at the top of our search results that travel is restricted to this destination. And it even tells us the details of that. So we need a COVID test as well as a mandatory 14 day quarantine upon arrival. Plus, you can click on the more details to learn even more about the restrictions. Obviously, this is incredibly helpful if you're just dipping your toe back into travel or if you're traveling somewhere you haven't been before and you want to know what's required of you upon entry. But back to how to find cheap flights with Google Flights. You can view all your flight options for your selected dates, but take a look here underneath what Google is saying is the best departing flight options. Here, Google will let you know if prices are cheaper, typical, or higher than usual for your trip. If you click on details, you'll be given some more details about the cheapest flights. Plus, you'll be able to view a complete price history for 60 days. It's pretty neat, but if you're still not satisfied with these flight prices, you can actually view a price graph. So go ahead and click on price graph near the top of your search results. And here, a graph pops up with pricing for your selected dates. You can see when you are set to depart and return, but you can easily scroll through this graph too in order to see upcoming flight prices. So let's say you're not too sure about these flights or maybe even your destination and you wanna take some more time to compare prices or maybe get alerts when some travel prices drop again. You can do that all too from Google Flights by tracking the flights. So back to our example here, near the top, before we get to the flight results, we've got this option to track prices. All you have to do is toggle this on and you'll instantly be monitoring prices for this trip and you'll get price alerts emailed directly to you. These emails are going to include tips too, like travel is lower price than normal for your selected dates and things like that. 
You can track prices for any number of trips or destinations. There is no limit. So this is a really great way to comparison shop if you're on the fence about when to take that trip or even where to go on that trip. Just set up your options and have Google do all the heavy lifting for you. So that's a brief overview of how to use Google Flights to find cheap flights and to track flights. But it's also important to add here which airlines are included in a Google Flight search because not all airlines are on Google Flights. For example, in the US, you won't find Southwest Airlines in a Google Flight search. There are also some Asian carriers, pretty big ones that you won't find too, like Air China and Philippine Airlines and more. And this is because some of these airlines block certain third-party apps from selling their flights. So with that being said, if you don't see your usual carrier listed on Google Flight Search, you might want to just check their site directly to ensure you're getting the best flight price. So now let's say you've booked your flights and you want to create a complete itinerary of your trip. Maybe you want it for yourself or maybe you'd like to share it. Well, guess what? You know where this is going. You don't have to create that itinerary. Google has automatically done it for you. Yeah. For this, you'll want to ensure you're signed into your Google account and then just head to google.com slash travel. No, really, do it, I dare you. So you can head here from any browser and if you're not signed in, you'll just sign into your Google account up here near the top right. But if you are signed in already, Google has curated a private travel itinerary just for you. Wowza. You can scroll through your upcoming trips or use the handy search feature at the top to find flights, hotels, and activities. Plus, you can view the details of your upcoming trips right from here too. Now, if you scroll down on this main travel page, you can even add a trip right from here too, utilizing Google as your own personal travel planner. But wait, there's more. But first, if you're liking this video, be sure to give it a like and make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more content like this. If you scroll down further on your personal google.com slash travel page, Google will offer you suggested destinations based on your upcoming and past trips. Plus, if you scroll down even further, you can take a trip down memory lane and view all your past trips right here in one central place. Now, you'll notice it seems like I traveled a lot during a worldwide pandemic, but I can assure you, I did not actually travel to any of these places in 2020. What's happening here is that Google is pulling information from confirmed reservations sent to your Gmail account. Plus, of course, any trips that you've added manually will appear here too. But so I was supposed to take these trips in 2020. So Google automatically pulled this info from my Gmail confirmations, but it didn't take into account rescheduled trips. That's okay though, because if you click on the three dot menu icon, you can delete any erroneous trips. But generally, this is a really great way to remember all the trips you've taken and when you took them. Plus, you can share any trip details from here too. Just click on that three dot menu icon and select share trip. From here, you can email your reservation information to anyone you need to, or you can share a link to past trips with anyone. How cool is that? Google Travel is now your own personal travel planner. So what do you think of how I use Google Flights? And scale of one to 10, how cool is your custom itinerary from Google Travel? Let everyone know your thoughts in the comments below. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, well, I wanna know. So give it a like, a share, or leave that comment below. You can click right about here to subscribe to my channel and here and here for the other videos in my Google Travel Tips series. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time.